Hello. <laughs> so, uh, in one of my um, previous videos, it was uh, one of those car. Um, I was talking about. Um, how, like, I know the Bible says, um, he became sin who knew no sin, so that we may become his righteousness, and I was saying, you know, don't do that, um, by saying, like, you don't need to all the time, and I, I still believe that, I still believe you don't need to, but sometimes, it's just how we've started to communicate, it seems, to each other is, um, you know, the Bible does say a brother is born for adversity. And because of that, we communicate by um, making mistakes sometimes. I don't know what I'm doing wrong until I see somebody else doing that thing wrong. And then when I try to test it out, it's like, um, it's not always right for me to test it out. And, like, I did it, and I'm like, oh, shoot, why did I just do that? This is the effect it has. And, um, honestly, I don't know what to me is traumatic anymore, because... There, there are some things that are traumatic and there are some things that are just not it's like okay it, it used to be traumatic but it's not anymore but am I just tolerant of it and I have to just decide for myself this is what it is to me <laughs> and it's like being the director of my life I am the director of my life. I present my life in the way that it is to everybody I meet. Because, <sighs> you know, um, we created phones, we created cameras, we created um, scenes that set up um, stories and stuff and that is important sometimes because somebody is telling us how to act when we when a person is in a film they're telling them how to act like you say this now and you don't say this now you say this like this and you don't say this like this it seems controlling and weird on the surface but I've gone so far out of hand that it's come to my attention that um, that's important okay example a couple days ago um, there was some rocks being thrown at the window and I was upset because I was trying to feed her and I didn't, my head was hurting because uh, she's crying. And whenever she's crying, it makes me very stressed out. It's not something I can necessarily control. I, I try to turn it off so much, but she's crying. And um, so I didn't want him to break the window. First of all, in that scenario, find it best to take a step back from myself and what I want to do which I don't always do but I need to take a step back and realize assess the situation have a better objective for why I am doing the thing I'm about to do if I don't do that I'm going to make a mistake <sighs> Anyway, um, 
yeah, there was some throwing rocks at the window, and I opened the window. Jackson, stop eating garbage. No. Why are you eating that? There's nothing on that. There is literally nothing. Is he eating that? Okay. I don't know. There's. I just. Don't get my piece. But um. Yeah. So. I wanted to save the house or the apartment and not be thrown outside, which. You know, either way, I could still be thrown outside, so, um, you know, it's, it's hard to, like, figure out the right, a good reason for doing this, but, um, I opened the window and yelled, um, the four-letter word starting with it. Uh, a, a sound kind of like a ph sound and um ending with a, a hard consonant sound and then um having an ing at the end and i <laughs> i yelled that i said just break it <laughs> why don't you something like that that's that's a jim carrey thing i don't want to steal that jim carrey um i said just do it then if you want to do it then just do it why don't you do it um but we ended up stopping after that after I slammed the window shut which you're not supposed to do in an apartment because there's stuff we have to sign but uh that was the end of that scene I had to get the keys out. Um, then we had to calmly walk back inside. <sighs> I don't know why she's crying. I just. Uh... could hear us and the yeah hi <laughs> but um like I'm saying energy level is very difficult to figure out and people who um create music and write music are very good at um that so I found that um I don't really talk to too many people who um, say they're good at singing. Here's the thing. I've never really found myself particularly good at singing. Um, and that kind of helps keep me in a good mindset to learn how to. Um, yeah. Because, one, if I don't know what the heck's around me, then it's hard to, like, um, continue singing without being cut off all of a sudden, or without something awkward happening. Because I'm literally just in the actual world, and not in a setup. And, and so it's like 
if I don't control everything, then it doesn't happen. Like, it, controlling everything starts with me. It starts with my attitude about where I am. talking about yesterday in the car the Ark of the Covenant thing um, I know I'm acting very unstable and the guy who reached out his hand to stable the Ark of the Covenant got struck dead and that was because sometimes other things happen from things falling that we need to know and we're not going to know that if we try to fix it Uh, the law doesn't exactly know that, or at least in the U.S., so I've seen, because uh, the, the people in law and in court, um, what they do is they stabilize things, because um, it's people who have situations that are at hand, such as people who have been acting like me and um, just not controlling my anger to a good uh. point which I am working on that and you know anger is not necessarily a bad thing anger is essential for self-reflection in myself to not go places that I know I should not go. Um, if, like, sometimes a person will tell me to do something and I know I shouldn't do that, but I want to. But when I want to do something, what is stopping me from actually doing that? only realizing there is some sort of pain, some sort of anger behind um, going there. And, and some, usually the, the pain is time lost. Usually the pain is years stuck on a, a sad, repetitious, um, mourning of loss and death. And that's not okay with me because I want to live, period, and I am not backing down from that decision. And the minute I say that, everyone's going to test that, but it's, I say, when I say something, I mean it. <sighs> Another thing is, um living could be realizing like letting go realizing that my neighbor has something important to say even if they don't make all the right decisions they still have they're still communicating they're still alive I'm still glad they are alive I'm so glad I am standing even if I made a mistake I'm still glad I am standing they're right not to but <laughs>
Like, here's the thing. I... I did some things that are not conventional with the Christian community. And every time that that happens, every time I did, don't listen to my dad or um, wisdom he shared with me, or at least think about it, then, um, then I have pain. Because he doesn't say anything that's stupid. He doesn't say anything stupid. There's a reason he says that. And even if my dad is an old man, he was once a young boy. He was once someone who God put it in him to go out and find my mom. He put it in him to realize how beautiful she was the parts of her character, the aspects of her character, the, the wisdom she had. And you know, he knows that she's not, you know, perfect. But my parents are still together. And I've listened to them talking to each other. And honestly, it's amazing that how much they can go through and still nothing has moved about our house. The things that are important to them, they stay and they don't change. And the things that need to change, they do. And they have to slowly. So I respect that and I love that about my parents. Anyway, take care.